Before proceeding with the injection, you need to make sure your hands are clean. So wash your hands before you start. Now you've washed your hands, you're going to put a new needle on the pen device team. This needle, you peel off the end, take off the clear plastic lid, and then, being careful, take off the needle cover. So I'm going to dial up four clicks, which is two units for an air shot. I've dialed four. With a needle facing the ceiling, I'm going to push on the end of the pen. Places that you can do your insulin injection, but sites include the arm, around the back of the arm, the tummy, if you imagine your belly button, a happy smiley face around the belly button is where you can do the injection, the legs on the outer aspect of the thighs, and the buttocks. So I'm going to use this injection device to demonstrate. So picking up your pen, you need to remember to dial the number of units that you're going to give. So you're going to go in at a 90 degree angle, and then once you've injected into the skin, move your thumb to the end of the pen and push down. Once you've pushed as far as you can go, you're going to delay removing the needle for a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At this point, you can take the needle away from the skin and you've done your insulin injection. To remove the needle from the pen, use the plastic cover and carefully place it back on the pen and twist off. And then the needle can be disposed of in your sharps box. Put your pen lid back on and you've done your insulin injection. Always wash your hands with soap and water before you begin. If you have cloudy insulin, it needs to be mixed. Gently roll the bottle in your hands, then rotate it from top to bottom without shaking. When you're ready to inject, pull the plunger back to the number of units needed, drawing air into the syringe. Insert the needle into the bottle of the insulin through the rubber cap. Inject the air from the syringe into the bottle. Turn the bottle upside down with the needle in it. Make sure the tip of the needle is fully submerged in the insulin as you pull the plunger back to the correct number of insulin units. Inject at a 90 degree angle. Hold for five seconds, then pull the needle out. Drop the syringe into the sharps container. It's important to switch injection sites to prevent bruising and pain. Each time you inject, choose a new site this way. Rotate injection sites in an imaginary circle. Always leave two fingers width in between injection sites and keep the same distance from your belly button. 